My name is Bob Sorge, and I've just written a book that I want to tell you about. The title is, It's Not a Tomb, It's a Womb. In John 16, 21, Jesus described his cross as childbirth. He was basically saying, I'm going into labor on the cross. So on the cross, you're looking at Jesus in labor, and then at the resurrection, here comes the birthing of the baby. And the labor was so intense because it was a real big baby. When you're looking at a tomb, it's overwhelming to you. It just screams at you the death of all your hopes, the death of all your dreams. When Anna looked at the, her husband's tomb, how long did she sit and stare at that tomb? The death of all her hopes, all her dreams. Naomi had three tombs to stare at. Her husband and both of her sons died in Moab. Job had hundreds of tombs that he was staring at because during his devastating losses, he lost not only his ten children, he lost their spouses and all of his servants. Hundreds of people that died in that devastation. And when you've got a tomb in front of you, it fills your screen because death is this vortex that sucks up everything in, 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 that's in front of it. And so in this book, what I do is I trace the stories of some of the characters in scripture that faced a tomb, such as Naomi, Caleb, Mordecai, Zacharias, John, Anna, Joseph. Joseph's prison looked like a tomb to him. I trace these stories you are going to revel in the stories of Scripture when you see them through this compelling lens of a tomb that God turned into a womb to birth His purposes. And the same is true for you in your life. Something that you're looking at that seems to be the end of everything for you. And God, the Redeemer, wants to redeem this tomb and transform it into a womb that will birth his purposes in your life, in your family, and in your generation. This book is more than just a poetic title. I love the poetry of the title, but it's more than poetic. It's, it's a compelling message that God has given me for the body of Christ, and it's, it's perfect for discipleship groups. There are discipleship questions at the end of each chapter, so I'm hoping that you'll want to take your small group through this book together. This book is going to 